From Florida Field on the campus of the University of Florida, Sports Channel Florida presents University of Florida Football. Today's game features the Memphis State Tigers and the Gators of the University of Florida. John David Francis ready to kick it off. He'll have the wind at his back and a pretty good breeze blowing here today in Florida Field. And here we go. Wilson at the four-yard line. He is free at the 30 and finally dragged down at the 32-yard line. And here's a look at the MSU Tigers offensively. Tim Jones, the man at quarterback and a man to watch. In the offensive line, Reed Bennett considered the key man there. When they run the ball, they run a lot of plays. Gerald White, number 22, the two running backs in there behind Tim Jones. First down at the 33-yard line. Jones rolling left. He'll throw the ball on first down, intended for Gerald White. Here's a look at the Gators defensively, that premier defensive line, considered one of the best in the nation. You'll see a lot of different linebackers moving in and out of there throughout the afternoon, as has been the case all year. And here's where all the restructuring has gone on, with Tony Jones now taking over at that one because of the injury to Richard Bain. Second down and ten. Very little running room there. Rondy Weston taking care of. They're playing it safe. He expects to be back next week, and that Gator secondary should be at full strength in time for Vandy. Third down and 10. Back to throw, Tim Jones. He took a hit as he let loose. The pass incomplete. Gators. Everybody coming. But fight gets the kick away. A fair catch called for, and the ball's going to roll inside the 30 now, taking a good Memphis State bounce inside the 20. It keeps on going all the way down to close to the 15-yard line. That'll be a 53-yard kick. Kyle Morris, Emmett Smith, of course, the big man. And that offensive line, Brad Hatcher again in there, starting at one of the guard spots. Kyle Morris. With Cedric Smith and Emmett Smith lining up behind him. The pitch is to Emmett Smith. He is out to the 20 yard line, a gain of five for Memphis State. This is a very much shuffled up Tiger defense this week. A lot of injuries suffered in practice, believe it or not. Nico Perkins, not usually a starter. Larry Cox, not usually a starter in that defensive line. Jeff Harris, not usually a starter as a linebacker. Glenn Rogers, not usually a starter at the free safety spot. It'll be second down and four at the Gator 21-yard line. Kyle Morris on the draw play to Emmett Smith. Smith gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Third down and four. Morris back to throw on third down. Has good protection, but the pass is incomplete, intended for Emmett Smith. Oh. That is the case. And Jim, I know that Galen uh, have the penalty setting your uh, team back. It is third and nine after the five yards are walked off. The ball back at the Gator 16-yard line. Morris back to throw again. Firing long downfield. The pass intended for Ernie Mills, the state. Acosta Rua gets off a beautiful kick, a high booming kick, carries Nettles all the way back to the 32-yard line. And he is brought down as he gets out across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Wayne Pryor, Gerald White, the running back behind Tim Jones. Jones still has it, now pitches to Gerald White, and Gerald White gets across midfield. There you see what Tim Jones did a week ago against Mississippi State when the best game of the year was played by this Memphis State team. Wayne Pryor, the ball carrier. Not only creates confusion, he comes up with a tackle himself. Third down, about two and a half yards to go for the first down. Again, the give is to the fullback, Wayne Pryor, and again, he finds very little... Simmons, who has been returning the punts for the Gators. Fight a left-footed kicker, booms a high kick into that win. Fair catch called for by Lomack, he drops it. But it's fallen on by the Gators at the 11-yard line. And it's across their own 11-yard line. Morris pitching to Emmett Smith. And Emmett Smith tripped up. It's the head coach at Memphis State, and he'll do a terrific job. Second down and 11. Morris back to throw. Has good protection. The pass is caught up the middle by the tight end. Number 80, Mark McGriff. And you have the luxury of being able to look around like Kyle Morris did. Find that open man. The pitch to Emmett Smith. He's got the first down, just barely. 
That's because Galen Hall has so much respect for Charlie Bailey, who used to be on his staff and is now the head coach of the Tigers. Morris firing long downfield, and it is incomplete, intended for Willie Steed. Morris now one out of three in this opening quarter in the air. It is second down and ten. Emmett Smith, again, unable to find much running room. So it is third down now. Ten yards to go for the first down. The ball at the Gator 24. Morris back to throw, has good protection. The pass incomplete. The intended receiver, Nettles, deep for Memphis State. They are coming, Memphis State is, but Acosta Rua gets the punt away. Nettles at the 38-yard line. Field, the Gators indicate they have it, but let's wait for the official. It is Florida's ball. That's a third of the ball game, and obviously some critical mistakes can be made on specialty teams, and right there, Memphis State gives up the football. Emmett Smith on the receiving end eludes one tackle, but look at Memphis State surround Emmett Smith anymore. At the 46-yard line, 7.08 remaining in the first quarter, still scoreless. Morris firing, the pass is intercepted. Steve Smith. All the way to the 35-yard line. Do a nice job of protecting Morris, but he's looking at his wide receiver all the way. And Steve Smith, a la Richard Bain last weekend, simply steps in front of the receiver, Barber, to make the interception. And so now Tim Jones has his best field position of the day. He rolls right, he throws. The pass is caught by Gerald White. White still on his feet, finally brought down near the 30-yard line. At second and six at the 30. Jones barks out the signals, hands to his fullback, Wayne Pryor. Now his third down, about a half a yard to go for the first down. The defense will be challenged here to stop Memphis State right where they are. The quarterback, Tim Jones, keeping, plunging forward. Looks like he got enough for the first down. Up to this point. First down at the Florida 24. Jones handing to his fullback, Wayne Pryor. Pryor still on his feet, finally dragged down inside the five-yard line by Kerry Watkins. Four-yard line, Memphis State trying to put the first points on the board in the first quarter of a game against the Gators this year. The pitch is to Gerald White. And White, even though it was an incompletion. Second and goal from the four. Handoff is to White. White gets only about a yard, and boy, did he get nailed. The Gator defense unscored upon in the first quarter and the fourth quarter of every game they've played so far, but in trouble here, Memphis State. Gerald White, and he's dropped for a loss by Bill Lang, number 24. And here is John Butler, number five. He has made four out of eight field goal attempts this year. This will be a 22-yard effort. The kick is up. The kick is good. And for the first time all year, an opponent has scored some points in the first quarter against the Gator defense. 3.54 remaining in the opening quarter. Memphis State has taken a 3-0 lead. And we'll be right back. That's in place of Stacy Simmons, who we've talked about out for the year with an injury. This kick is squibbed along. It'll go out of bounds. They'll have to do it over. In deep for the Gators. Again, it's bounced along. And it's picked up at the 20-yard line by Curtis White. Smith needs just one more yard to work his way into seventh place on the all-time rushing list ahead of Chuck Hunsinger on this possession. It's a third down and one. The handoff again is to McGrady, and McGrady simply bowls his way out to near midfield. Should have enough for the first down. 2.18 remaining, opening quarter. 3-0, Memphis State leading it. Back to throw is Morris. He is going for everything. And the pass incomplete, the intended receiver, Ernie Mills. Morris now two out of six for 13 yards. He has had one pass intercepted. Emmett Smith, the ball carrier, gets across midfield, down to about the 46-yard line. Five more yards will get Emmett Smith into sixth place. This is a passing play, and it's incomplete. Mike Nettles back in the coverage. Perry gets the kick high in the air. We've got penalty markers down at the 10-yard line. Nettles with a fair catch. And we do. Good snap. 
Perry gets the kick away. And he's going to better his last performance. Look at that. All the way down to the seven-yard line. They're at their own seven-yard line. The handoff is to Gerald White. He's got some running room. Out to the 20, all the way out to the 23-yard line. The people that are controlling the ball game here uh, are from Memphis State. The inside handoff. It's going to be a big one, 15 yards. A very costly one. Moves the ball out to the 41-yard line. Memphis State is now outside their 40-yard line. Second penalty called against the Gators in the game. They've gone for 20 yards. The handoff is to number 32, Xavier Crawford. On the second down play, Crawford again, the ball carrier. Penalty flags are thrown. And so quarter number one comes to an end with Memphis State leading it 3-0. Only averaged about 150 yards rushing per game. If they keep this pace up, they'll have 200 yards by the end of the fourth quarter if they can continue with this pace running the football. On the third down play, the pass intended for Charles Wilson. There's the boot by Jeff Fight. That's a reception by Tony Lovac, and he's going to get a good return out of this out to the 32-yard line. Gave the ball club on, on the uh, punt return team as well as receiving. Emmett Smith at tailback. Emmett Smith, the ball carrier. Bulls his way out to about the 29. Second down. 19 yards to go at the 24-yard line. Emmett Smith is now moving to sixth place, passing James Jones. Another fine reception by the tight end, Mark McGriff, out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Kyle Morris now three out of eight for 29 yards. It's third down and two. Emmett Smith bobbles the ball, falls on it, but he's going to be shy of the first down. Garua has checked in. I don't remember ever seeing a ball game where a player was ejected, a college football player was ejected. That's a very unusual situation. Going, but Jim, that's something Galen Hall worried about all week, getting this team up for a game like this after such a big win against LSU a week ago. Second down and about five yards to go. Jones, well out, is going to be dropped for a loss. Jones rolling left, turns the other way. The pass. Whoa! Well, I'm going to go fight averaging 43 yards per kick in the first quarter. That was punting into the wind. Now he's got the wind at his back and doesn't get off as good a punt. Doesn't it happen that way a lot? Well, sometimes you get a little complacent on offense when you know your defense is going to shut down the opponent pretty consistently, but that Gator offense really has to get cranked up out there this afternoon. It is second down at eight. Lomack in motion. Morris back to throw. Lomack the intended receiver. He's got it, but he's out of bounds. He's shy of the first down. It is third down and one. Tony Lomack was actually a running back in high school. Emmett Smith has the first down. Out to about the 44-yard line. 6.6 yards per carry. Memphis State holding him to 3.3 yards per carry in the early going. First down, Gators. Ernie Mills, the intended receiver. Second down and 10. 10.47 remaining first half. 3-0 Memphis State. Emmett Smith looks for running room, and that was Greg Ross again, number 72. It's a passing situation, third and long. Smith in motion. Morris back to throw, has good protection. The pass is incomplete. Again, the intended receiver was Ernie Mills from the state of Florida. Well, you know this game means something special to him. Fernando Acosta Rua gets a good kick away. Nettles at the 12-yard line. Will not get much of a return. Now the Gators have that opportunity. Morris barks out the signal. Pitching again to Wayne Williams. Williams looking for running room on the near sideline. He will stay in bounds and finally get up. He stepped out way back at the 15. The big plus number in the turnover ratio for the Gators. And a turnover here could get him on the board for the first time. Cedric Smith carrying down to about the 11-yard line. Way out in front in several of their games. Second down and five. Williams inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Big play here for the offense. Third down and four. Morris back to throw. Can't find an open man. Now he's going to have to run with it, and down he goes. At about the 10-yard line. The try for the field goal. John David Francis, 12 out of 17 on the year. This one coming from the 18-yard line. The 28-yard effort is good. And 
the Gators are on the board. They had to settle for three, not quite what they had in mind, but they have tied the score with 6.56 remaining in this first half. We're all tied up at three, and we'll be right back. And kick it off to Memphis State once again. Charles Wilson at the 11-yard line. Oh! And the ball may be loose again. It is. Big scramble for it, but Memphis State got it back. Uh, while he was still up, the ball was knocked loose, but obviously the whistle had blown. And now that Gator defense begins to swarm. Jones trying to run the trouble. Down he goes. Trace Armstrong and Rondi Weston. It'll be third down. 13 yards to go for the first down. The pitch is to the tailback. Gerald White, and he's not going anywhere. Only 4.57 remaining in the first half. Fight gets away a good kick this time. Under a lot of pressure. And it bounces over the head of Lomack, and he's going to have to let it go now. Look where this one's going to wind up. All the way back at the six-yard line. Emmett Smith back in there. But they've been able to been unable to continue it. Out across the 15-yard line for a first down. Emmett Smith, just a tremendous ball player, uh, All-American. First down at the 16-yard line. The handoff was to the fullback, Willie McGrady. Morris back to throw on second and seven. Fakes once, fires long downfield, and he knows the intended receiver. The pass falling incomplete. Two minutes, 57 seconds remaining in the first half. Game tied at three. Morris cannot find an open receiver. He's going to try to run for the first down. He lost the football, but he got it back. Goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Coming Boy, Galen Hall is looking right over that football at that measurement. It is not a first down. It's shy by about a foot. Acosta Rua gets the kick up into that win. Nettles the fair catch at the 36-yard line. Looking downfield, that pass is caught by his fullback, Wayne Pryor. And that's a little bit unusual for a fullback. Pryor gets the ball on the carry this time, out across the 45 to about the 46. If we go in at halftime with the lead, this will be a big boost for that ball club. You saw Charlie Bailey on the Memphis State sideline. He's obviously got his team very well prepared for this game this afternoon. That pass incomplete, Ray Kraft. It's now three out of eight for 18 yards. Second and ten. It's the tailback, Gerald White. He runs right into the arms of Rondé Weston. I have just a minute to go in this first half. It's tied at three. Jones rolling left. He's going to keep it. He's got the first down. Memphis State has a big first down. First down with 38 seconds remaining. Fire and White, the running backs behind Jones. Gerald White, the ball carrier. No hole at all. Left, let's see what this penalty is. Uh, procedure against the Tigers. It is now second down and 13. 29 seconds remaining in the first half in a 3-3 game. Jones rolls right, looks left. The pass caught by his fullback, Wayne Pryor. Pryor gets it down inside the 40. They're under Galen Hall this season. Neither team very successful on third down conversions in this game. Memphis State two out of nine, Florida three out of nine. Jones back to throw, cannot find an open man. Again, he's gonna run the ball, and he's fourth out of bounds at about the 28-yard line with a 45-yard effort from John Butler. That kick has plenty of distance, and it is good. Butler nailing it from 45 yards out. Williams and McClendon are deep, but he does squib it along the ground. And that will end the first half of play. So the Memphis State Tigers have come to Florida Field, and they have kept 70,000 football fans here in shock throughout this first half. We have reached halftime with Memphis State leading it by a score of 6-3. to three. <laughs> And here we go, quarter number three underway, the kick taken by Wayne Williams. Whoa! 
He's got running room up the middle, and he gets it all the way out to the 39-yard line. Having problems uh, putting points on the board against LSU last week, and certainly this afternoon, Memphis State giving the Gator offense all kinds of trouble. The pass intended for Emmett Smith. In terms of 10 being very concerned. Second down and 10. This is Emmett Smith, who rushed for 46 yards in the first half. Third down now, and about six yards to go for the first down. In the opening minute of quarter number three. Morris dropping straight back. Can't find an open man. He's going to try to run for the first down. He's got it. Out of bounds. First down at the Memphis State 45. Emmett Smith looking for running room on the far side. Has a little bit. Gets inside the 40 down to about the 38-yard line. Second down. About two yards to go for the first down. Again, it's Emmett Smith. to be very proud of their performance. A big play here for both sides. Third and one. Emmett Smith has the first down. All the way down to the 30-yard line. First down at the 30-yard line. Emmett again to the right side. And again, he turns off about eight yards. It is a holding against the Gators. That is a fourth penalty, 45 yards worth. Marched off against the Gators this afternoon. It's now first and 20. Pitch toward Wayne Williams. Goes out of bounds. Now has stalled. Morris back to throw on second and long. And a great defensive move there. Really having problems here on the last couple plays. Morris now 4 to 14 for 35 yards. Third and 26. Going long downfield for Ernie Mills. behind Mike Nettles. Mike Nettles, who overruns the ball a bit, has his hands on it. The ball is juggled. As Kyle Morris ran off under his own power, Herbert Perry takes over now. First and goal at the six-yard line. When you go down with a timeout, you have to come out at least one play. Perry pitching to Emmett Smith. Smith inside the five, diving to about the three-yard line. Second and goal from the three. Herbert Perry pitching to Emmett Smith. Smith runs into a wall of white. Third and goal from the two. The handoff is to one of the fullbacks and picks down Gators. Emmett Smith got him close. Cedric Smith got him in. lead with 9.59 remaining in quarter number three. Francis with the kick. It comes to Charles Wilson inside the 10-yard line. And Wilson picked up big time. A Jerry Odom in the defense right there. Now Memphis State goes to work offensively. Jones running the ball. Gets only about a yard and has fired up Gator defense. Second down at eight at the 25. Amen. Number one in the nation. Third and five. Jones rolls left. Firing long downfield. It is caught at the 25-yard line. Matching Kyle Morris with a big, long pass for a first down. Gerald White runs into one wall, and down he comes, losing about. Jones rolls right, fires downfield. He had a receiver wide open. Ray Kraft, number 11, for another Memphis State first down. That tackle, first down, Memphis State. The pitch is to number 32, Xavier Crawford, and he is in for the touchdown. The freshman from Memphis, a true freshman. Spread that defense out and either run or throw. They're going for two. 
Jones rolls right, looks into the end zone. He's got it. Charles Wilson on the receiving end. And Memphis State, after surrendering the lead to the Gators, come right back with a big drive of their own. With 7-16 remaining, they now lead it 14-11 in the third quarter. We'll be right back. That was the Mississippi game. Butler squibbing that kick again. Picked up at the 20-yard line. Out to about the 35-yard line. At the Gator 36. Kyle Morris is back in there. So is Emmett Smith. And a good game that time by Emmett Smith. And on the first down play, Rick Friedet. Second down and eight. The handoff fake to Emmett Smith. Kyle Morris coming over near the near sideline. Going to have to take it out of bounds. They had to restructure the entire defensive backfield. What a job they've done. Morris back to throw, and it's picked off by Moore. Eddie Moore has given Memphis State the ball back. That's the first down for Memphis State. Jones rolls right. Well, he took a chance on that one. He really didn't have anybody to throw it to, and they were to make the hit. Eddie Moore with his fifth interception of the year. the state a chance to add to their lead the handoff goes to number 32 Xavier Crawford a presence in this game in his freshman year third down and six and Crawford again this time he goes nowhere Jeff, Jeff Ross. Ross what's eight bounce Lomax back deep the Gators were going after the kicker and look at that punt all the way into the end zone this one went 53 yards The pitch is to Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith carries out to about the 24-yard line. But it's going to have to pass the ball with some success to beat him because that defense, their task is to shut down Emmett Smith. And it has not been easy at all. Wayne Williams running for the first down, getting out across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. The equipment for the Florida sports fan. Morris back to throw on first down. Caught by Lomack over near the 39-yard line. He lost his footing. Lomack and Mills both come out wide left. The handoff is to Emmett Smith. Can't find a hole. Now looks for one of his own. And he'll be shy of the first down by about a yard. Emmett Smith. I don't know. Emmett Smith is down and he's holding on to his left knee and this could be very bad first down they are forced to punt here a one hop snap handled by Acosta Rua who line drives the kick takes a good Florida bounce that'll pick it up anyway and he's going to go down inside the 10 yard line he's sorry he did that Jones has fire and white behind him as he lines up the Memphis State Tigers first down at the nine yard line Gerald White has a little running room outside got out to the 12 yard line Second down, about seven yards to go for the first down. The ball just shy of the Memphis State 13-yard line. Pryor, the fullback, gets it out to about the 17. Only 15 seconds to go, third quarter. Handoff go to the tailback, Gerald White. He's out to the 23-yard line for a Memphis State first down. And time has expired in quarter number three. Memphis State trying to pull the upset of the year at this point. Leading the Florida Gators 14 to 11 with one quarter of football left. Tim Jones barking out the signals on first down for the 23 yard line. The give us to Gerald White. White gets out to the 26 yard line. Memphis State now with 124 yards rushing on the day. Gerald White again. For about three or four more. Third and two. The crowd screaming for the defense to do it one more time. Jones running for the first down. Backs out of bounds. Memphis State lost both those games when Jones had the shoulder problem. Galen Hall was dead right when he said with Jones back in there, Memphis State's a very different football team, and they've showed it. 
Second down, call it nine. Jones launching one long downfield. Wilson, the intended receiver, and he did not catch it. To the last Memphis State touchdown. Jones in trouble. Down he goes. Wandy Weston and Trace Armstrong in to do the punting. Here come the Gators, and Fight just got it away and got a good one away. Well back. Bad judgment right there by Tony. Emmett Smith had to leave the game with some kind of a knee problem. We're waiting for a report from down below. The pass intended for Willie Sneed. But more importantly, you just hope it's nothing more serious. Good Morris protection. back to throw. Complete to the tight end. Mark McGriff for the first down out across the 45. Throwing the ball to the tight ends might be the key to success. First down at the Gator 46. Wayne Williams gets about a yard, maybe two. There is Evans. Second down and eight. 11-18, the time remaining. Gators trailing by three. Wayne Williams. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Now, third and seven. At the Florida 49. Morris dropping straight back. Can't find a receiver. He's going to run for the first down and come up short, losing the football. It's recovered by the Gators. I believe they're going to call him down. They are. A correction, Acosta Rua checked in after the timeout was called. Perry was out there initially. And there's plenty of time left in this ball game. 9.51. First down at the 15. Jones giving the ball to Gerald White. White runs it out across the 15. Tim Jones, junior quarterback out of Gordo, Alabama. Xavier Crawford, the freshman tailback. 9.15 to go. First down, Memphis State. Again, Xavier Crawford. Trace Armstrong right there. Down only eight in total yards in the game, and where it really counts on the scoreboard, up three. The inside handoff won't go for much. About a yard. Tim Jones rolls left. Firing downfield. Wilson's wide open. It's a first down at the eight minutes remaining. First down, Memphis State. Xavier Crawford looks for running room on the far side of the field. And he's got another Memphis State first down. He goes out of bounds. First down at the Gator 44. They pitch to Xavier Crawford again. A big hole. He's got another first down. Down to the 32-yard line. Memphis State up by three. Driving again. The snap is fumbled. The Gators have it. Pat Moore falling on the loose ball. And a great break for the Gators. First down at the Florida 30. Kyle Morris. Giving the ball to Wayne Williams. And Williams running hard out to the 39-yard line. And Evan carries for 29 yards now for Wayne Williams. And those shoulder pads must feel about a ton heavier to him right now with Evan Smith out of the game. He carries again. Looks like he got the first down. But they are going to have to pass the ball if they're going to move the football all the way down the field on this series. Lomack in motion. McGrady and Williams, the running backs. There Morris he is. Taking nope. the handoff. Throwing back to Wayne Williams. Williams, that play only went for about two yards. McGrady and Williams line up behind Kyle Morris. He's back to throw. He's got some time, but he throws oh, it incomplete, yeah. and a pass interference flag goes down. The, t the big tight end right there. Morris back to throw again. Again, the protection is good, and wide open is Tony Lomax. Lomack gets inside the 35-yard line for another first down. Especially when they have the speed that Tony Lomack has. First down at the Memphis State 33. Wayne Williams gets three more yards down to about the 30. Second down and seven. 4.34 the time left. The Gators down by three. Morris Safety back blitz. to throw. Complete it to Terrence Barber. Barber trying to elude the tackle of Steve Smith. Was at least able to fall forward. 4.05 the time left. Williams inside the 20, still on his feet. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. 3.33 remaining. Second down and four. Oh, 
a loose ball. Morris falling on it, but a costly down. McGrady, the lone running back, lining up behind Kyle Morris. Third down and six. Morris is back to throw under some pressure. The ball is tipped and picked off. Glenn Rogers all the way back to the 33-yard line. A penalty marker is down there. He stepped out of bounds back at the 41. The third interception of the afternoon. Receptor and hit him out of bounds, and they're going to add on 15 to it. Mm. Here. First down for Memphis State. The pitch is to Gerald White. White inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line. Two and a half minutes to go. Second down and six. White again, the ball carrier. Inside the 20 on the afternoon. Third down and two. The fullback fire does not have the first down. It will come from 35 yards away. Like the Gators are going to rush 10 men, so they believe it's for real. The Gators coming, but Butler gets it up and puts it through. A 35-yard field goal by John Butler. There is a minute 10 remaining. Memphis State has a six-point lead. The Gators will have one more try. We'll be right back. Giving Memphis State a 17 to 11 lead. Again, he squibs the kick along the ground. It's picked up by Curtis White. White with a good return gets it out to the 38-yard line. And Herbert Perry, the ball is on the Gator 38. Lomack in motion. Perry back to throw. Penalty markers down. I think somebody jumped too soon. <laughs> Herbert Perry sends Lomack in motion again. Back to throw. Has good protection. The ball incomplete with 58 seconds remaining. Trailing by six. Perry back to throw. The pass is picked off by Eddie Moore, his second interception of the day, his sixth interception of the year, and Memphis State is doing it. Look at Charlie Bailey on the Tiger sideline. Where the Gators rarely lose, undefeated, 5-0 coming into this ball game. Jones gonna run around as long as he can back there, and then head for the sideline. Memphis State leading it 17-11. Penalty marker is down near the line of scrimmage. Just, uh, a year or two with the Miami Hurricanes, coached uh, with Steve Spurrier. His father, Jim Dickey, coaches the defensive backs for the Gators. So a lot. Memphis State has done what no one thought they could do. And Charlie Bailey will get a ride back to the locker room as this ball game is over. And in one of the biggest upsets of this 1988 college football season, the Tigers of Memphis State have come to Florida Field and handed the Gators their first loss of the season. The final score, Memphis State 17, Florida 11. We'll be right back. <laughs> 